So what you just saw there was me surviving a point blank Phoenix missile, but we will get to that in just a moment. Right now, this is Plasma1945 taking off on Growling Sidewinder PvP server in DCS World. A game, a sim where you fly very detailed jets and you can get into fights with other jets, helicopters, blow up tanks, ships, and do all kinds of things that are modern and Cold War combat related and even fly some warbirds. Now, what I've got here is a R27ER missile tracking this F-16 who's down by the deck. His aggressor camouflage livery did not help him and he gets splashed. But I've got an F-15 Eagle heading straight for me and this boy is fast. He's higher and faster than me, which gives him better energy for firing missiles. There he goes, a Fox 3. That's an AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. He can fire and forget it. The best I can do is return back at 27 ER, which I have to guide. Now here comes the Fox 1 launch. The 27 ER is on its way and immediately I start descending and cranking out. Now the reason I'm doing this crank and dive is so that his missile has more trouble getting to me and blowing me up. Now, as you can see on the screen, the missile is trying to do that sharp turn and it's trying to go left with me. I can tell within my airplane how far away the missile is. And based on the sensors, I know I'm slightly outrunning it. And there it is. It falls behind, never gets me. All right. That was very survivalistic. Now, I do spot next a strange aircraft flying in front of me. I thought it was a helicopter it was so slow. Turns out it's a full blown F-16. The important thing to keep in mind in DCS world and on online servers like this is you can have different skill levels. So I think this guy was just flying home, but I wasn't sure what he was doing. And if it's an enemy aircraft, I will validate it is, and then I will prosecute it with extreme prejudice. In this case, I saved my missiles, went for guns. The guy was just flying a straight line. Didn't feel like wasting a missile on him. Chop off his vertical stabilizer, his tail and his Horizontal stabilizer, and he is out of there, knocked out and spinning down to his doom. Oof, I kind of felt bad for this guy. He was just, uh, he was just kind of cruising along, but well, at least his guns work. I pop a couple of flares to say, sorry, buddy, as he heads right down for the deck and he didn't eject. Always eject. Meanwhile, across the map, we've got Aaron in his Su-27. He is tangled in a fight and I'm heading in his direction to provide support. He's been flying for quite a bit. There he goes, a 27 ET. This missile is fire and forget. It's like a very large Sidewinder missile. Reaches out and goes for the enemy F-16, splashing him with a mighty explosion. Now, at this point, though, Aaron is probably going to want to go home. He's been out here for a while. Let's listen in. What would you like to do? What's your fuel state? Not good. Give me a number. So not good means that Aaron has to fly over 100 kilometers, about 70 miles to okay. get back uh, to base. So he's got about 500 90, kilograms of fuel. That's about percent thrust. A thousand pounds. If he flies perfectly and, and doesn't go too fast, he'll make it. Light or 20 degrees. You should be nice and light. And don't touch. Don't cross into afterburner. Whatever you do. I'm going full gate, there's a guy coming in, chasing a friendly. The problem here is I have to go fast to intercept the hostiles. Aaron crosses my nose and continues to climb. I have a stick, I have one stick just for him. He keeps jamming though. Because he's, no, no, he's a F-18. Box one override. My job is to push the enemy away so that he cannot engage Aaron because Aaron does not have the fuel to defend missiles. All right, Aaron, you're clear. Now the F-18 doesn't know that I'm down to one missile and not very much gas, so he runs away and now it becomes a Tomcat. This is gonna get spicy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. The enemy Tomcat means business and he's got Phoenix missiles. I've only got one long right. range missile. Fox 3. My missile's on its way, but the Tomcat sends back a Phoenix missile. 
That's about twice the size of my R77. Hey, he's fired on me. Still keeping an eye on Aaron. The Tomcat is tangled with me, which means that Aaron can continue flying safely. I'm descending, just like before. Are you clean? Now my fuel is starting to run low. The Tomcat has fired another Phoenix missile at me from very close range. This is do or die. I don't have any missiles to get him back unless he gets real close to me, so I have to survive the Phoenix. I'm going to try to notch it. Cranking out, leveling my wings. Looking for that 90 degree position for that missile. Here it comes. That was close. Now let's get that Tomcat. Here you go, Aaron. This is just for you, buddy. Box two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Splash. <sighs> it was an honor. Yeah, are you gonna make it home? Tell me you're gonna make it home. And Aaron does make it home, and this is teamwork and a good example of DCS world. If you guys want to hop into a squad, we fly casually, go to redstardcs.com. There's an about link, which will take you to our Discord. Otherwise, leave a comment, like this video, share it, and uh, keep flying in DCS. It's a great, great sim. And uh, Aaron does make it back for a landing. He has no thrust whatsoever. He basically just kind of coasted in, but it worked out. And as he lands, he pulls up right in front of me to say, hello. And Plasma's out of here. Fly safe, everybody.